Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing on the face of it from class 12 NCERT test book. On the face of it written by Susan Hill. So the play is featuring an old man Mr. Lamb and a small boy named Jerry. So the play begins when Jerry enters Lamb's garden. So he walks slowly and cautiously through the long grass. He enters Lamb's garden and uh, Lamb started speaking to him when he is close at his hand. And Jerry is very much afraid and he is very much apologetic as he was seen by Mr. Lamb. Really he entered there uh, thinking that no one would be there. But uh, Lamb tries to understand him and uh, tries to make him uh, comfortable. And he is told very frankly that he can pick up apples. And uh, Derry is very much, uh, what do you call, nervous. And uh, as soon as he was seen by Lamb, he wanted to go. And Lamb says he didn't... Uh, uh, he, he, he is not supposed to go on his account. He doesn't mind who comes in the garden. That is why his gate is always open. He was asking why then Jerry had to climb over the wall when the uh, gate was opened. Jerry says that he didn't uh, come there for uh, stealing his crab apples. And Mr. Lamp assures him that he can stay there still. And now Jerry says that the people are very much afraid of him. They took him, I mean, uh, they look him, uh, you know, look at his face and find it terrible and ugly. Even when he himself sees his face in the mirror, he is afraid of himself. So now you will see Jerry is very much uh, withdrawn. He is very much uh, defiant even to open, open up himself. So Mr. Lamb says that he will get the ladder and uh, uh, a stick and pull down some crab apples and uh, uh, he'll make jelly out of it. Terry doesn't want Mr. Lamb to change the subject now and he wants to talk about himself. Mr. Lamb thinks that perhaps Derry's face got burned in a fire and uh, now Derry cut us him and he got acid all down on that side of his face and it burned all way. And now he says acid ate up his face. Not only his face, the acid ate up himself. Then he says that they are not similar in one course. And uh, Mr. Lamp corrects him by telling that Lamp is old, Derry is young, Derry has got a burnt face and Lamp has got a tin leg. Similarly, one green plant is called a weed and another flower. It's all life. There is something very common that is life. They are growing. Lamb got uh, his one leg blown off. And uh, he says some kids call him lamey lamb. But it is okay for him. He doesn't mind it. He says it fits for him. He doesn't put on trousers to cover his leg. And his tin leg or, uh, tin leg or burn face are uh, not the only things to be taken notice of it. Or stared, of, stared at there are so many other things like crab apples, weeds and sunflowers that the people would stare at. They deserve our attention and Mr. Lamb enjoys life and people as much as he can. So this is the difference we will find between Mr. Lamb and uh, Derry. Even if both of them are having uh, one or the other deformity, their perception of life is entirely different. Now Derry says that the people have told him many fairy stories to console him. They say that it is not important what you look like. The people tell those comforting lies to only to console him. But Derry knows that he will not change. He will stay as a monstrous beast forever. No one will kiss him ever. Only his mother and that she too kisses on the other side of his face which is not burnt. Mr. Lamb asks Derry if he doesn't care to be kissed by pretty girls, girls with long hair and large eyes. Will he not like to be kissed by the people he loves? Derry replies that no one will ever kiss and love him. 
so he is completely hopeless even when he grows old as mr lamb he will look the same he will still only have a half face slam to place that jerry may have a half face but the world has got a whole face he should look at it how jerry indulges in self pity that was his problem jerry is obsessed with what people say and comment about him people remind jerry that there are people even worse than him in the world he might uh, be blind dumb or mad by birth sometimes people can be very cruel a woman looked at him once she said to another woman look at that it's a terrible thing she told her that only mother could love such a face slam advises jerry to keep his ears shut jerry says that he doesn't like being near people he can't stand to people staring at him and passing cruel comments about him and now the rest is how mr Sh- mr lamb shows the way to jerry slam reminds jerry that he can't lock himself up in a room and never leave it for all these comments made by the people then he narrates him a story of a man who was afraid of everything in the world what happened to him once there was a man who was afraid of everything in the world so what he did is he went into his room locked the door and stayed there and what happened a picture fell off the wall onto his head and killed him mr lamb says that he enjoys life as it comes he sits in the sun reads books he is not fond of curtains mr lamb motivated jerry jerry has got two arms two legs eyes ears everything intact he has got a tongue and also brain he can get on the way he wants like the rest and if he chooses he can't uh, he can get on better than the other uh, other people who are you know, very normal jerry asks how mr lamb replies that jerry can live the same way as he himself does for him everybody is welcome the gate is always open jerry says that there are some people who hates mr lamb says that hatred is more harmful than the bottle of acid jerry gets up and prepares to go he says he'll come back mr say lamp says that generally people say so but never come back now in the next scene jerry, jerry is back home his mother wants him not to go back again jerry assures her mother that assures his mother that she need not fear only an old man with a tin leg lives there he has a huge house and a garden mr lamp uh, he says things nobody else had ever told him in his life Jerry runs to Mr Lamb's garden he opens the garden gate he cries that he has come back suddenly there is a crash the ladder falls back Mr Lamb also falls down with it and he dies Jerry begins to weep Jerry begins to weep for Mr Lamb he goes on crying lamey lamb i did come back 